Welcome everyone, you're watching Infinity Blade Walkthrough Chapter 4 Multiplayer. Multiplayer is where you can challenge your friend or anyone as a titan or a knight. Let's start off with the basic controls. Today I will show you how to use the titan on multiplayer. To go to multiplayer, press pause. You go to arena mode and then you click on multiplayer. You click play now if you want to play with anyone. You click invite friends if you want to invite any of your friends into your game center account. So once I go to invite a friend, you're going to see a list of all of my friends in my game center account. I'm going to pick the friend I want to invite and then I'm going to send the invitation. Once you hear the sound, that means they're ready and you click play now. In this part, they're going to tell you whether you're going to be a titan or a knight. In this case, I'm the titan. If you, you can buy new titans by clicking on the upgrade button. You can also buy rings to increase your health or defense. The attack determines your strength. The chain determines how many attacks you can do before the knight can counterattack. And the higher the speed points, the faster you can attack. The ring, on the other hand, determines your health and your defense, as you're gonna see further in the game. So as soon as you're gonna upgrade your health or your titan, click on the upgrade button. And as soon as you're ready, click on the ready button. As soon as both players are ready, the game will automatically start. <laughs> what you have to watch out for is your timer. The timer is the circle on the bottom right. As soon as it does a full circle, you get, become dizzy and you're at the mercy of the night. So don't be that person that doesn't move. always attack, otherwise you're gonna pay the price. So you have two types of attacks, quick attacks and long attacks. So using the attack slider on the left, you can change the speed. The more toward the middle, the slower the attack. The, m the more toward the corner, the faster the attack is. So that circle is the pyramid. And those lines at the bottom are the attack shield. There's three levels for fury attacks. The higher the level, the more likely it will cause damage to the enemy. Collect the skeletons in the higher the level for fury it is. Now, if you don't want to get attacked, then watch out for the attack chain. In this case, this enemy has two attack chains. He's already using one right now. And the next attack is the one that's important. If you miss that one, you get attacked. You might enjoy this or not, but there's something called parry in this game, where you can parry someone's attack with a sword. If you manage to parry it, the last attack of the enemy, then you get into what we call a sword clash, and all it means is that you're gonna push your weapon on the enemy. The one who taps the fastest the screen is the one who wins, and gains what we call a super attack. If you use a spur attack, you will leave the enemy completely vulnerable to an attack. Just like that. So from this point on, all I'm going to show you is a few live examples of how the game is played. So you give yourself an idea how every move works.
players that won't be able to show their names. Alright, so thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Alright everyone, thank you, bye. Time is it the job? Come on, see me, 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 come on,